little critter in. It's true. Little critter, Mom said. If you did your homework, you may have a cupcake. I did, I said. You did not, yelled little sister. That's not true. It's so, I said. I just hadn't finished all of it yet. Oh, you see the mouse and the spider and his doggy. They're all there. The next day, I walked little sister and bunny to school. Is it true that big kids like you get to stay up really late and watch TV? Asked Bunny. That is way cool. I nodded my head yes, feeling very cool. That's not true, said little sister. It's so, I said. I get to stay up later than you, so it's kind of true. Oh, look, what's his bus number? Oh, do you see the mouse and the spider peeking out of his backpack? <laughs> Did you feed the dog? Mom asked. Yes, I said. Oh, no, it's not true, said little sister. It is so, I said. I gave the dog extra food yesterday, so he doesn't need any more today. Did you brush your teeth? Mom asked at bedtime. I nodded yes. Then why is your toothbrush dry? She asked. I said, I used my finger. But even I didn't believe that. Little sister said, I lost her doll. That wasn't true. I didn't even play with it. The dog did. Oh, did you see the mouse and the spider? Mom made me help her find it anyway. The next day, Miss Kitty told us about the air show happening that weekend. My grandpa has a real biplane, I said. Wow, said Henrietta, that's so cool. Is your grandpa flying in the air show? asked Gator. I was about to explain. It was just a small model. Everyone was so excited to ride in it, I couldn't tell them the truth. On my way home, I realized that not telling the whole truth was really the same as lying. But how could I tell everyone the truth about the biplane? I don't see the mouse or the spider, do you? Oh, oh, yes, they are. They're there on the picket fence right by his head. <laughs> oh, I like little critter's feet. <laughs> there was only one thing to do. I packed my suitcase and sneaked out the back door. Oh, no. Is he leaving the mouse and the spider and his doggy behind? Where are you going? asked Grandpa. I'm running away, I said. I'll give you a ride and you can tell me why, said Grandpa. I told Grandpa the whole truth. It seems to me that you've learned a very important lesson, little critter, said Grandpa. In the Bible, God says the truth will set you free. If you don't tell the truth... You will never be happy. The more I talked to Grandpa, the better I felt. God was right. Telling the truth did make you feel good. All of a sudden, I knew just what I had to do. At the air show, my friends ran over as soon as they saw me. Which one is your Grandpa's plane? asked Henrietta. Is it the green one way up there? asked Gator. Is it the blue one with the yellow stars? asked Gabby. I shook my head. It's right here. I opened my backpack and pulled out Grandpa's model biplane. It was time to tell the truth. 
I said, this is a model biplane, so that part is true. But I lied when I let you believe it was a plane you could fly in. I'm really sorry. My friends forgave me because I told the whole truth. Miss Kitty was proud of me. Grandpa did tricks with the biplane. Everyone got to fly it, too. The little biplane was just as much fun as a big biplane. Oh, <laughs> do you see where the mouse and the spider are? <laughs> They're riding in the model biplane, aren't they? <laughs> Oh my, there is so much going on in this picture. Look at the pelican on that little uh, tent, on top of that little tent. Oh, and the bunny spilt the drink. <laughs> and there's an elephant selling popcorn. That night, I gave my family a big hug. I love you, I said. And that is the whole truth. <laughs> What's going on? Are the spider and a mouse giving each other hugs? <laughs> well, I hope you like that little critter story. And I hope you come back for our next one. I love you guys. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now.